Good morning! So it's day one in Hayman Island. I've just found out what we're doing today. We are going to the Barrier Reef, which is so exciting because I have never been to the Great Barrier and I really want to see it before too much more destruction happens because it's quite sad that a lot of it has been quite destroyed, but I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. I'm super excited. We are catching a helicopter again to get there, which is really exciting. So I'm just getting ready. This is our cute little bathroom. Um, I didn't want to wear makeup today because I was going go in the water, but when I feel like my face isn't quite tanned enough, I use this pure, I don't know if that's focusing, anyway, pure by Bondi Sands tanning spray, tanning mist, and he sprayed on, and then it develops really fast, so no need for makeup, which helps. And then I'll show you guys one last view of our room because this is so nice to wake up to. Um, so yeah, this is our pool, it's in the middle, I really like this layout, it's really cute. Very different, but really cool. And then waking up to this this morning, this is phenomenal. So pretty. Honestly, pinching myself. And this is our own little private beach. Amazing. All right, so I'm gonna go get a coffee and I'll see you guys soon. Well, we were gonna fast today because we had such a big dinner, but there's a buffet brekkie. And if you, you gotta eat. No fasting. Night number two, got some snapper, some roast cauliflower, some eye fillet, and a shawnee. So we're home from dinner, it's 9 p.m. and we are going to bed because we're grandparents and this is past our bedtime. And we have another full day of activities tomorrow, so we'll see you then. Good night. Good morning. Look at this. Crazy. So every night, Sean gives me a little snippet of the activities that he's planned for the following day. Island in the 
voices, roads. Four hours of a spa treatment to have us. Yeah. It was very relaxed after that Sadashi massage. That went for three hours almost. It's amazing. The skin's glowing. Feeling comfy in my robe. Now, we get to have a snack. Look at that. So, the sun is setting. It's our little kind of beach. So every night the tide goes out so there's actually like no real beach but you can walk out all the way over there it's pretty spectacular though hey look at these colors like the video doesn't even do it justice and then you're surrounded by mountains that's our little villa in there and then there's a few others around there and then there's a hotel around the back isn't this just incredible? And tonight we're gonna stay in and watch the tennis. Jeez. Mm. Perfect Saturday night in. Yeah. This is living. You. Cheers, baby. So this is our spread, our little picnic for this morning. What is going on here? Just got back from Whitehaven. Little speedboat, good Sundays, and I should have just a little surprise here for her. <laughs> oh, what have we got here? What have we got here? Oh my god. Gorgeous. A oh, gorgeous girl. And what? What have we got here? The Guardian. Red. Match the red roses in this beautiful girl. Beautiful Valentine's. I hope it's something you love and wear. back on the road again today um, not heading back to Melbourne because Melbourne is in lockdown and we don't want to go back there so we've got to go back to Byron um, it's so so sad to be leaving Hayman Island I've never seen an island this incredible it is so beautiful it's just been so picture-perfect and then visiting Whitehaven Beach which is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world and you can really see why when you're there I mean the sand is so white it's incredible apparently you can also clean your jewelry in it if it's like pure like gold or silver the sand is 
like 98% silica, so apparently you can clean it in that, which is super cool, which I only found out when we got back, so a lot of my jewelry is still dirty, because <laughs> it always is. I just feel so blessed to be able to have had the most like incredible experience, especially after you know, lockdown in Melbourne last year for seven months being one of the cities with the most strictest lockdown rules. It is so nice to be able to get out and explore some of our country, considering that normal travel and international travel won't probably be happening for another little while. Praying for everyone around the world that it does, but this has just been such a magical trip and a magical Valentine's Day. I feel so very blessed. Stay tuned for our journey home and I'll see you guys on the next YouTube video.